Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a few example problems for how we calculate the energy stored in a capacitor. And I made a previous video where, when I went through an explanation of how energy is stored and what we mean by energy stored and how we derived the equations. We're going to do a couple example problems. I think we're going to do three of them. Okay, the first one is this. How much work does a 3-volt battery do when it stores 4.8 times 10 to the minus, minus 13 coulombs of charge on the plates of a parallel capacitor. Okay, now these are the three equations we had, which we derived, and I showed you how we got those equations in the previous video. But you can see here we have voltage, and we have charge. We want to calculate work, and this first equation we have has the voltage and the charge in it, so this is the equation we're going to use. This has capacitance voltage, this has charge and capacitance. So this is the first equation we're going to use. So we'll get rid of the other two, and we're simply going to plug these values in. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. The work is equal to 1 half. Okay, the charge is 4.8 times 10 to the minus 13 coulombs. The voltage is 3 volts. And you can see that the battery does 3, what does it say, 7, 7 7.2 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. Now the question, of course, asks how much work does the battery do, and that is how much work the battery does when it stores that much charge using that 3-volt battery, okay? But it's also, not only is it the work, but it's also the energy. So you might ask, somebody might ask you, what's the energy stored in the capacitor? Well, the work and the energy are the same, okay? It's electrical potential energy. And in order to store something, you have to do work. So the work and energy are the same. All right, so we do 7.2 times 10 to the minus 13 joules of work, or the we, the battery does. Okay, the next one is now in a camera. Now, this is the inside of a camera, old camera I have. And you'll notice it has a flash, and the energy for that flash is stored in this capacitor. This is a capacitor right here. These are the two batteries, and somewhere in here, probably laying right in here, maybe there's a place where the capacitor goes. And so we have a camera that uses a 110 microfarad capacitor. And that's exactly what we have here. We have a 110 microfarad capacitor. This capacitor has a voltage of 330 volts. So I just said we have a capacitor that uses to store energy for its flash. The voltage across the capacitor is 330 volts, and we want to know how much energy is stored in the capacitor. Okay, we could also ask how much work does the battery do? Okay, does that voltage source do? But in this case, we're talking about that, we're talking about a flash, we know how much energy, okay? And therefore, we're going to use this equation this time, because we have work, and we have the capacitance of the capacitor, and we have the voltage, so we're going to use this equation, 1 half CV squared. And once again, we just plug the values in, 1 half, the capacitance is 110 microfarads minus 6 is microfarads. We have 110 microfarads. And we have the voltage squared, the 330 volts squared. And that simply tells us that we have stored 6 joules. Okay, or that voltage source has stored 6 joules of energy on the plates or in the electric field between the plates of that capacitor. Or it did 6 joules of work. Okay, remember work and energy, same thing. All right, so that's kind of interesting. That's, a, that's what the inside of the camera looks like, capacitor store energy from the batteries for the flash. All right, so we have one more problem we're gonna do. This one involves uh, an electro, what do they call it, AED, automatic electric defibrillator, I think it's what it's called. So we have a, a defibrillator that uses 300 joules of electrical energy to shock the human heart back to normal rhythm. Okay, that's what an AED does. It just simply provides electric shock to the heart, trying to get it back to its normal rhythm, normal heartbeat, and the energy is stored in a capacitor or a series of capacitors that are in series with each other, okay, excuse me, that are in parallel with each other, and though that capacitor is charged by a 5,000 volt source, we want to know what is the capacitance that we need to store 300 joules of energy when we have 5,000 volts, and we want to know how much charge is stored. All right, now this is what that what those things look like approximately. This is just the automatic electric defibrillator. There's the two pads. You put one on one side, you put one on the other side, and you just get a shock right through your body, right through your heart, and hopefully that gets your heart back beating, okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to figure out um, what do we want to know, first of all, what is the capacitance that's required? Okay, now we're going to use this equation, because we know the work is 300 joules, we know the voltage, so we're going to solve this equation for the capacitance, and I'm just going to do that right here, kind of one step. So what I did was I took uh, and multiplied both sides by 2. I get 2W. That gets rid of the 1 half. 
and I divide by the voltage squared, and that tells me that the capacitance is two times the amount of work divided by the voltage squared. I simply, once again, just plug the values in. The capacitance is equal to two times 300 joules divided by 5,000 squared, and that tells you that the capacitance of that capacitor would need to be 2.4 times 10 to the minus 5 farads. Okay? That's the capacitance that's needed to store that much charge for the 5,000 volt source. Now on the next slide, oh, that's 24 microfarads. 2.4 times 10 to the minus 5 farads is 24 microfarads. We want to know how much charge is stored. Now we're going to use what I like to call the capacitor equation, Q equals C times V. We figured on the previous slide that capacitance is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 5 farads. So we're just going to plug that value in for the capacitance. C is for the capacitance. This is the charge. This is the voltage. We have a 5,000 volt source. And that tells us the amount of charge stored is 1 point, no, not 1 point, 0 0.12 coulombs of charge. All right? So there you go. We did a quick three problems. You can watch this video. Watch the previous video where we did an explanation. Link to that up in the upper right-hand corner there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things, or let's add a fourth thing in there. Please um, subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a nice positive comment. And, of course, sharing is caring. So share this video with your friends so they can enjoy it too. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.